I for to test here done. Black box. We have here the Yao computer 731 SU free from Smith's Limited with its companion gearing pad for Yao computer particularly for BAE 146 aircraft. So probably this box is a generic and it will be tuned to a particular airframe with this additional module. Uh, quite uh, almost 40 cm long uh, box, so quite a long one. Seems uh, really old school. On the back, the regular uh, Aviation rack connector, no coax here, with this regular uh, warning about unified thread screws. Something particular on this device, you can notice here this, uh, around these screws, there is a little cap, and it is good actually there is one still in place because when it came it was sealed with black tar or black wax seal exactly like onto Russian equipment. It is the first time I see it onto British made equipment so quite a surprise. This is the bottom panel I did not uh, need to undo it so far. You can see also the uh, seals from uh, Smith's Aerospace nice handle in the front and your little gearing module which is actually just a plug-in module that will animate with just two screws and you have such little connectors connected in to the module so we will find out what we have in here I guess it is most probably a bunch of uh, resistors or something like this. But first we will remove this main cover. Which should be pretty fast actually if I find a screwdriver. So just for screws here. Two screws add the factory seal. So I know it was not opened uh, at least since the same, uh, since the last, last uh, inspection. These uh, seals here were more or less broken, but the wax seals were present when I did receive the box. But there will be one disappointment, it is actually the internal condition. Ah, here on the top, again Smith's MR Aerospace Service. In 2001, it was repaired. So we know at least it is older than 2001. It actually seems a lot older. Because you can see we have here pretty old school design. Actually, not much inside, just a few modules like this. And the disappointment is the uh, oxidation on the aluminium parts. Look at this. Really a lot of it. So quite a bit sad. So we have uh, modules which are connected here to this middle piece which has actually the cable loom running inside. And all not of them will be necessary to undo. So we have here the first one is servo coupler. On this side a bunch of uh, big glass coated resistors, big capacitor. This one is branded ash soft or something like this. Really nice blue one on, on the other side mainly a big toroidal transformer here 
with uh, quite uh, nice construction. You can see a little sticker embedded inside epoxy. On the cure, probably transistors. There is 82 written on them. Here I see 81. So maybe it is actually from 1982, but you can see the design really looks older. Quite interesting. Next module called Logic seems to be actually Relay Logic because, yes, we have five Teledyne relays, miniature relays, a bunch of unused cables here also. Quite interesting, you can see. Uh, unconnected cables for options and also uh, unused uh, pads here. So it looks like it could be uh, even more uh, customized or something like this, this unit. On the other side we have a stack of two circuit boards with nothing particular on them. Just uh, capacitor, resistors and a few transistors. So we have here actually another time the same module than this one, it seems. Uh, it seems quite similar, it is fun, but it is, it is quite similar, but not the same thing. This one is for powering. Your power, it is written. We have the Castanet uh, liquid totalum caps. Super expensive one. Again, unused wires here, unpopulated. More castanet caps here, and your toroidal transformer with this time diodes in parallel so that, that could totally be a bridge rectifier. So it is where you would want to uh, investigate if you want to power on this thing, but really there is not much that can happen if you power it on because you have no input signals, you have no light, no indicator, nothing. Okay, on the top we have the two main modules which I will undo. So it does require undoing a few screws. Okay, so I did undo the small screws on the top, and now I can undo this one, so it's our captive screws. And this thing are actually handles to pull and disconnect the module from the connector here in the middle. So here, what do we have? We have word assembly, actually. It looks like we have a hinge and it will open if I drive out these captive screws. Quite interesting. Will it come or not? Not sure how to proceed. to open the box in two parts and reveal the contents a more discrete parts mounted on a teflon standoffs here we have a bunch of what is this computer uh, servo amp it is a servo amp a bunch of uh, must not be diodes because we have a free contacts so tire restores or something like this or triax Interesting. Diode with a lap or something like this. Very nice, unusual parts in here. Look at this. This uh, 5 microfarad capacitors, 6 volts. Another one here. I believe it is the first one I see this particular design of capacitor. A few transistors mounted in this. Uh, Teflon standoffs also. 
round uh, standoffs here unpopulated for some cover or some extra board on it interesting more your digital coax uh, toroidal transformers and more of its wet tantalum capacitors so really really nice thing here not really expected for computer but obviously a very analog kind of computer okay next module to remove and here we will have a look better look at the circuit boards is actually the uh, almost last one bef before the uh, little box here the yo shaper so what do we have in here hmm. okay it is coming off quite nicely you have uh, these parts which are really common into all the Smiths avionics I have uh, a lot of them already in, in other equipment it is actually uh, optocouplers you can see we have one part here with uh, two one side with two LEDs must be a uh, LED or some kind of light source on the other part with three legs is some um, phototransistor on the optocouplers regular green glass coated resistors here and again again unpopulated wires for options or modifications interesting the other side has uh, two circuit boards with with integrated circuits so it is definitely worth having a look Okay, it was a little bit tedious, but it is done. Uh, you can see here the other side of this unit. So, first difference you can notice with the other one. The Teflon standoffs are blue and not white. Not sure why. Other side, not much here, but we have the circuit board with uh, ICs which are uh, LM148, LM148 uh, a gold old UA741 here LM108 and the other the numbers are not usual you can see they are all mill grade ceramic ices and about the dead codes, it is actually quite a surprise because we have up to 86 here. So more modern than expected. So maybe this part is a retrofit and it is a little bit more modern part. I was not expecting this device to be uh, such uh, new with such uh, old uh, modular design. Interesting. Uh, another Ashcroft capacitor here of very unusual shape more wet tantalum here and apart from this very regular parts quite modern looking parts with uh, brown capacitors and uh, probably metal layer capacitors here everything is connected together with this nice wire loom so quite uh, no conformal coating on the PCB interesting so 
all analog computing goodness. We are left with one thing to have a look at. This little box that will apparently fine tune the well tune the Yao computer for the particular aircraft or airframe at least according to the characteristics of the airframe and the autopilot and so on. So maybe we will have a trimmers or things like this or it is just a set device. But you can see it is easy to swap in just a few seconds. So what do we have in here? Box and yes, as I said previously, just a bunch of resistors with you can see again provision for extra resistors here. And it is actually quite interesting the way it is made this thing. The wires do arrive in this uh, each one of these little uh, Teflon things as a little metal tube inside which will allow to solder the component on one side and the wire inside. Quite interesting. By modern days we should all be done in uh, software. These adjustments of course. And it really seems to be an old design, quite surprising. And what did I notice? Looks like here. Maybe we had a modification, not sure. The wires are arriving in here, but there is nothing connected. Interesting. Okay. So, really a nice. And by the way, this wall device was super cheap on uh, British eBay. It is from the seller I did purchase the uh, cockpit display unit recently and it was four British pounds. Yes. With also quite inexpensive shipping. So in total it did cost me something like 16 euros or something like this with, with UPS shipping by the way. It did arrive in four days. So it is a really, a really good deal and definitely a seller I will probably get uh, purchase more uh, from. Okay, I will put all this back together. So the only uh, sad thing here is uh, obviously the aluminium corrosion. It is, uh, I will take care a little bit of it before I reassemble the device, by the way. Since it is accessible here, at least on this side, I will do something. Okay, oh, some aluminium powder. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye bye.